graphic design has never actually been one of my strong suits and I absolutely love how artificial intelligence is enabling us to generate awesome pieces of well graphic design that before we were never able to do so in this tutorial this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to utilize the coolest easiest to use artificial intelligence graphic generator and that is DALI 3 with ChatGPT. Now, before I was using Midjourney, now Midjourney is something like, uh, I think it's like about 60 bucks a month or something like that. And you get a certain amount of credits within Midjourney. And on top of that, you've got to learn a whole load of crazy artistic prompts to actually go with it. Now, you, you know, it's difficult. It is difficult. It's uh, you're making notes, you're writing, you're trying out so many different things. And, you know, a lot of the time it's kind of coming back as, you know, mistake in your prompt, mistake in your prompt, mistake in your prompt. So it can be frustrating. Not with ChatGPT and DALI 3. So what it basically is, if you look at my screen here, I just basically said, can you make me an image of someone who looks like Donald Trump riding a bull? I didn't even say riding a bull. I said fighting a bull. OK, and so what it's done is it's gone and created this image for me uh, looking like Donald Trump or some some uh, idea of Donald Trump actually riding a bull. Uh, and that's how beautiful it is. That's how easy it is to actually create graphics when it comes to ChatGPT and DALI. OK, so it's as simple as putting in a prompt like that, putting in a sentence like that and then getting a graphic coming back. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you some specifics that's going to help you as an online business person to actually create graphics for your blog, for your Facebook and for your YouTube and Instagram as well. So the more specific we can actually be with uh, ChatGPT and with, um, with DALI in terms of what it is that we actually want, the better we're going to be able to get it to actually do things that are more in line with our purpose. OK, so one of the things I want you to first off look at. So if you're coming to ChatGPT, all you're going to do is you're going to come to New Chat. And you're going to come to GPT-4. Now you're going to need to have GPT-4 uh, already. And then you're going to come to DALI-3. And that's going to be it ready for you, okay? Now, what you're basically going to have with this tutorial, you've got your sheet here, okay? So DALI-3 for awesome images with ChatGPT. Then we've got some instructions. You've got an introduction from me, some instructions. And then you've got some little templates here that you can use and some art styles as well that you can use in your prompts, okay? So as you can see, we've got a blog featured image, we've got a Facebook cover photo, uh, we've got an Instagram post, and we've got a YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so first off, we've got a blog featured image. But before we get into that, I just want to, to say this here, okay? Note, if you want your images to look like a person, it's better not to say Donald Trump. Make me a picture of Donald Trump. It's better to say someone who looks like Donald Trump. OK, because there's a lot of content policies that ChatGPT and DALI will say, look, we're not making that for you. So in order to get around that, just say somebody who looks like the particular person that you're actually trying to create uh, the image around. OK, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to create a blog featured image. Now, every blog needs to have a featured image. OK, so that, this is so, so important. So what we basically want to do is like it's a very simple prompt. Design a featured image for my blog similar to the size of a YouTube thumbnail. It needs to encapsulate this sentence here. And then what I basically do is I just take my headline of my article. So let's say it's um, how to build an online business in 2024 as a digital nomad. Digital N-O-M-A-D. Oh, excuse me. So let's see if it, it's able to actually read that. See that I, I made a mistake with it. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to read that. But the thing I love about uh, ChatGPT is it, it, it understands what it is that you're looking at. It looks at the context of the words of your prompt. And OK, wow. Look, at so uh, as you can see, this is what I mean. This is how beautiful ChatGPT is with it. Here are some images that reflect the concept of building an online business in 2024 as a digital nomad. Please select the one that best fits your blog's theme. Okay, and so, look, that's absolutely beautiful. Um, 
again that's beautiful do you know what i could say like i could say i only want one um one laptop in the image okay uh, and so what it's going to basically do is it's going to lock at the images utilize the prompts already that it's created for the image and then it's going to create a similar image fingers crossed with one laptop actually in it now while it's going to do that what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to dali or to our sheet here and we're going to come uh into oh we've already just... oh yeah here's another one as well if you don't want any writing in uh in your in your blog image well then you can come back in okay so this is a good one here look at that all right that's a cool looking one there so we could use that now if you didn't want any writing at all in uh in your image then you could basically just um as a digital nomad you could just come back in here as a digital n-o-m-a-d so what you would say design a featured image for my blog similar to the size of youtube i need to encapsulate but not to say this sentence here okay and so what it's basically going to do is it's going to go off and it's going to not have any wording on the on the image all right so while we're doing that let's go back over and let's grab the facebook cover one okay and i've just opened up uh canva here to give you an idea of facebook photos and this is the facebook cover size and what basically you're going to see is it's going to create okay these are beautiful look at these okay so these will be wonderful for a blog image okay so let's move on from there and let's go into a facebook one as well so let's go um let's go um online business for IG tell nomads okay so create a facebook cover photo for my online business please ensure its focal point is focusing on online business for digital nomads and the photo should be clear to understand avoid using complex text or imagery ensure that the main visual elements are centered to accommodate the profile picture and buttons with space for a business tagline and logo ensure it fits within facebook's photo cover dimensions okay and as i saw they basically in my focal point i'm having the idea of online business for digital nomads okay and again we're going to um we're going to click enter and we're going to allow it to create it all right online business for digital nomads we could copy that image let's come back over to here and let's drop it in here and if we just bring this out which you can say nearly perfect Okay, so that is the Facebook cover dimensions. Now, there are a couple of issues sometimes with uh, ChatGPT and um, and uh, Dali. As you can see, the text isn't right there. But again, you could use a similar thing here. Uh, but do not say this sentence. Okay, do not use the words. All right. So the next thing that we want to look at is an Instagram post. And again, we're going to come back in here. I'm going to put our uh, Instagram post in here. And we're going to put our blog title in here. So generate an Instagram post for my blog article on, insert the uh, blog article title. So we're just going to say uh, building an online business for a digital nomad in 2024. Uh, okay, so please ensure that the image speaks to my target audience who are, uh, let's say, people who want to leave the nine to five. leave the nine to five uh, and grabs the attention of people scrolling on instagram so again i've got my instagram open here and we'll just check it that it fits nicely within there now the, these are just super simple but they're specific to what it is that you need as a marketer as an online business person so getting these right like you know having these little templates here is just going to make it so much easier okay so some of these are absolutely brilliant so let's say we wanted to copy that and we can just come back over into our instagram paste it in here and then we can update it with any text elements that we wanted any kind of like overlays or whatever it actually is okay again you can mess around with the prompts again but let's finally go to the youtube thumbnail okay and now these are really really good now youtube thumbnails this is what i've been using uh for my youtube videos of late 
And to be honest, they were awesome. Like my last YouTube thumbnail got a 14.3% click-through rate, which is insane, okay? Considering that the average is about two to three percent click-through rate okay so this is i think it's two to three percent it could be a little bit higher if i'm wrong tell me in the comments below uh, but so let's have a let's have a look at this and we're gonna it's gonna say design our youtube thumbnail for my video ensure that it grabs attention blah 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 with a focal point idea with a color type and an art style to type okay you can add or edit any of these parts here so building an online business we're just going to copy that I'm going to put it into insert a video name um, ensure it grabs attention with let's say a beach it grabs attention with a beautiful beach with i'm just going to put in beach colors here beach colors and in a let's say a pixar like style okay and we're just going to press enter and what it's basically going to do is it's going to create a youtube thumbnail for me and again i've got it open here on canva as you can see, it's created something pretty cool there for me. So it's creating those. As you can see, here's here's the other ones that I actually made, just asking a different styles and designs. I really like these Facebook cover images, by the way. Uh, and this was basically made with the same prompt that uh, that I gave to you guys. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. Okay, so like if you wanted to use this, you copy this, put it into your uh, into your YouTube uh, Canva. And then you're just going to update that and you're going to put some text elements on there now you can make it darker you can make all those kind of different elements you can make it stand out you can make it neon whatever it actually was here are some art styles at the bottom but anyway guys my name has been kieran doyle this is get free and if you've enjoyed this i really do hope that i've earned your subscription here so give it a like and a, and a subscribe and if you have any comments i would love to hear about them as well and if you have any videos ideas that you'd like me to do please let me know keep it easy guys thanks very much